Hey Talk, welcome to my Hello Magazine photo shoot. I hope you guys have fun watching because I sure am. Just tell us a bit about the shoot today and who you're sort of channeling, what actresses you're channeling. Um, well, today is a Hello Magazine photo shoot, and it's going awesome. Um, I'm actually kind of channeling old Hollywood, kind of Grace Kelly, Marilyn Monroe era. Um, the wardrobe's all vintage, and the makeup looks amazing, smoky eyes and red lips. So it's going to be really cool. I hope you guys get a, a chance to see it. Yeah. Um, so now, do you love dressing up? Do you love fashion? I, you know, I'm not um, very fashionable, but I do try to kind of follow what the magazines are saying. But I have my own style, and whatever's comfortable generally, what, what I like to wear. But it's nice to kind of dress up and it's like when you were a child right you got to play dress up in your mom's clothes it kind of feels like that today which is cool oh that's cool so let's uh, let's go back to Smallville and mm -hmm. just this awesome you know whole whirlwind kind yeah. of situation can you tell us what happened how did you get the role and how that all came about well, I, uh, I heard that they were auditioning, um, so I put myself on tape here in Toronto. I couldn't make it to L.A., thinking, God, they're never gonna, they're never gonna look at my tape. There's thousands of girls, and about a month later, I got a call um, to fly to L.A. to test. And a week after that, I was cast as Supergirl, and I had moved, and I was having harnessing training for flying. It was, it was insane. It was good though. How, so how do you make Supergirl cool and accessible to a younger generation of fans? There we go. Well, um, I guess I wanted her to be kind of an independent and strong woman for younger viewers to watch. I mean, we have a lot of young teens watching now this season for Supergirl. Um, and I want her to be able to be someone they can look up to, someone that they can try to follow in the footsteps of, obviously not flying, but just the way she goes about life and stands up for herself and is well-spoken and is an independent woman. And you're working with some great Canadians I am, yeah. Kristen. Erica. Erica. Yeah, they're so both fabulous. Like they're both great. Um, Erica, when I first got there, she was new to the set I think a couple years ago so she knows what, knows what I was going through and she took me under her wing and you know I was nervous um, so she just kind of explained how they shoot and how the days are and what I'm going to go through all the, the conventions for comic books and things like that um, and Kristen's great but it's nice to have some Canadians on the set for sure and now tell us about Tom how, how what's it like working with Tom like the cast chemistry good the, yeah the cast chemistry is great Tom's wonderful um, I have most of my scenes with him so I find um, we're, we're getting closer in that sense like he's playing my older brother we have a good sense of humor on and off the set so that's cool um, um, but I'm just starting to work with uh, Michael Rosenbaum as well and he's wonderful he's a character he's off the wall but in a good way